Boxy. Foxy, wake up. Foxy! Foxy, wake up! Where is the son of a sea biscuit that knocked me from me crumb's nest? Where is he? Where is where's, where's, where's he be? Uh, right here, Foxy. What's the big idea driving your cursed wheelie box into me, Co? 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 The security guard is going to be here soon. And? And he needs us all to be there. Why? To kill him faster? No, we need to explain what's going on. So we get another person committed to the insane asylum. Will you just go? Well, look who decides to wake up from his nap. Shut your trap, Yogi. I'll pick a Nick basket, eh, hey, Bomb Bomb? Please don't. You didn't need it to run a blasted car into the cove. Everyone needs a little bumper car in their life. Frankly, lad, I've gone without it for 20 years and look at me. Yeah, out of order, nerder, torn to shreds, and a miserable groan 90% of the time. I'll have you know, lass, I be a classic. Yeah, a classic scrap heap. I'm not to be afraid to scrap with a lady. But given your attitude, I would doubt you were a lady in the first place. Excuse me! And yet you wonder why people never came to the cove. Will you three can it already? This is serious. About as serious as people take Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Enough! I was just getting good! Ow! Hey, listen, uh, about that threat from this morning, I want to apologize. With all the missing children incidents and us struggling to pay our employees, it's been very stressful. The only other support we get is from the free spare parts from the Non-Human Rights Project, and the Boston Dynamics, bless them. Uh, yeah. It's okay, man. It's understandable. Especially when this place gets a lot of crap because of the incidents in 87. Yeah, and my boss would never do anything like bribe the media. Mr. Fazberg's actually a big teddy bear. As a matter of fact, a lot of his friends calling him the inspiration for this place. No, oh, really? <laughs> he even drew up the designs for the original characters, and a friend of his, Charlie, who was a mechanic at the time, built the first endoskeletons. Uh, sadly, he died about a week ago. Why? Uh... <laughs> Between his wife leaving him and his younger daughter being killed at Freddy's, uh, he committed suicide. It's been rough for all of us. Uh, it's a shame, too. He was actually the inspiration for Bonnie. He always loved puns, bumper cars, and would always wear a smile, even at the worst of times. He even did some of the weirdest stuff for absolutely no reason. Bonnie found it amusing and started doing it himself. That actually explains a lot. Uh, one question. Who's that guy with the helmet that's been walking around here? I saw him trying to help Bonnie's head out of a bucket with Chica and Freddy. Oh, uh, that's Jake. But he likes to be called Revenge for some reason. He creates voice banks for Freddy and Bonnie. Oh, does he do Foxy too? Uh, he did audition, but Murphy did a much better job. Who? Don't you have a job to do? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Go on, then. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Can you please put me down? So, what's this about? Take a seat. Um. <laughs> now, you already know about the child murders that happened in 87, right? Yeah. And how they found the bodies inside our old suits? No, oh, I thought they changed those suits because they were so torn and ugly. Nope. Confiscated for evidence. So how does this involve you three trying to kill me at night? We're getting to that. Back in 87, our old puppet suddenly came to life, 
and was frantically pulling out my arm to follow him. When I did, we came across a man in purple. His suit was completely covered in blood. Did you get a face? I couldn't. He was wearing something that deflected my optics, so I couldn't get an idea on him. And once we found him, he used a flashlight to reset me. When I woke up, I found myself being inspected by police. When I asked what happened, they told me that someone had put a murdered child not only in me, but the others. And how are you guys not mentally fucked up and disturbed? We were never programmed with those types of emotions. And you guys are totally okay with that? Oh no, we were still appalled by it. We didn't have such complex programming that our psyche would get damaged as a result of the experience. But since then, every night at midnight to 6 a.m., we lose control and kill whoever we get our hands on. It used to be that every night we would watch the place, but now we need a guard to watch us so we don't get out and hurt others. How have you managed to keep all this all quiet for so long? It's true what Vincent said. Mr. Fassberg is good friends with the mayor, and the mayor it bribes media outlets to put spin on these stories and rumors that start up about the restaurant. The mayor does it without Fassberg's permission, but he has no choice but to go along with it. Not only to keep his business safe, but us as well. Jesus, this sounds like a Frank Miller story. Oh, sadly, this ain't no story. This is real. And we need your help in finding the killer. Because Lord knows the police ain't doing jack about it. Well, uh, I've been taking some forensic classes at Utah Valley University. Let's see if we can access any archive footage. See if we can remove the optic deflection. Wait, really? But how? You have anywhere I can plug this in? Just plug it into my neck. Will you need the others? Uh, unlikely. Seeing as you're the first one to encounter them, you'd likely have been more careful with the other ones, but for the sake of leaving no stun a turn, we should look at them anyway. Oh no. You ain't getting your wire sorcery anywhere near me. But it won't hurt, Chica. The last time someone stuck a wire in me, it shorted half the city. Uh, whatever. Let's just hurry and inspect Freddy for now. It's already 11.20. Damn it! why does every file system always have to have cryptic names for their storage? It's fine. We can always finish tomorrow if you can't do it by 12. Uh, they can at least name a folder video art. Never mind. You remember the date? Uh, February 2nd, 1987. Well, there's 24 of them, each lasting an hour. What was the time frame of the event? I think it was between 3.50 a.m. and 4.10 a.m. I think I can get both of these files before midnight. You better hope so, or your new pajamas are going to include a tacky top hat. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, because you're my friend, Foxy. You two idiots quit your flapping. Mike, please tell me you're going to be finished soon. It's getting to be that at my time. I can't disconnect yet. If I do, it could end up corrupting the file on both ends. Well, you better hurry, or else, or else, or else. It's gonna get ugly. The lad be right, Mikey. We don't know how long we can last before the kids take over. That's almost there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's done. Get out of here now. I'm done. <laughs> Kid? God damn it. <laughs> Kid, what the fuck are you doing here? It's dead. <laughs> no! 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 Jesus Christ, get away! <laughs> Note to self get across in holy water. Come here, you scoundrel! Oh. This place fucking hates me, I swear to God.
Uh, time for another night. Oh my god, this restaurant. Hey, Mike. No, ah, fucking hell, Bonnie. I'm fresh off of the ship. Sorry. Uh, did I leave Mr. Stuffy Bunny in here? Mr. what? Mr. Stuffy Bunny. He's my toy rabbit. I'm sorry I lost you, Mr. Stuffy Bunny. I'll never do it again. Bonnie, go get the others. Yes, sir. So what did you find? Uh, whatever this optic tech is, it's hard to filter out. The most I can get is a silhouette. Judging from the video, the suspect's about 5'3", has an average build, and has a fascination for purple. So, is it true there's such a thing as detective vision? Uh, no, this isn't the Arkham games. Ah. Wait, what's that? What do you say? It looks like the suspect has his hand stuck in an empty Chica mask. What's the serial number? There should be one on the side. Uh... 11037DRNP. That's supposed to be my new head coming next week. Ooh! Guys, I think I'm on the trail of a clue! Uh, no way that thing can possibly find any sort of clue. You just gotta believe. I'm getting closer. Ugh. I found something! You're pulling on the anchor, Manny. You found something with that piece of chunk. Yeah, I found that cupcake. Chica, is that you? Mr. Cupcake? <laughs> Chica. I missed you so much. Mr. Cupcake missed you too. Okay, if we're done with the mushy crap, we have a killer to out. This will go down as one of the rare cases to go down in Utah.